Okay guys, we've already done a few videos on damage repair and results with the rotary. Um, so let's cover some technique, different pads, and chemicals. And I'll break it up into two videos. Uh, the first one will cover wool pads, and the second one will cover technique with foam pads, just uh, slight differences in each one. And um, let's get it done. All right, let's talk about pads first. Usually the fast cutting pad is white in color. The medium cutting pad is usually a yellow colored pad. And the finishing pad is uh, white or light blue. With some Resurrection Heavy Cut Cream, we're gonna start with the cutting pad, the white pad. It's the heavy, fast-cutting wool pad. I personally spread a thin layer of the product over the panel I'm going to work. At this point, it doesn't matter if there's a little bit of marring. We're going to be doing heavy compounding anyway. No sling whatsoever with this method. We're going to use the heavy-cutting, white-colored wool pad. Speed setting is going to be at 1700. Pressure on the tool is light to moderate. Now, important here, guys, cutting with the rotary is best at low speed and low temperature. If you rev that tool up, the surface temperature is going to rise. It's going to rise quickly. And when clear coat gets hot, it has some give to it. If you keep it cool, the clear has no give and you're going to have the best cut. I hope that makes sense. Um, we're going to move on to hand position. For the heavy cutting portion of this, we're going to keep the hand position towards the top front of the tool, and we're going to apply light to medium pressure. That's going to change every step. You're going to keep the arms moving, arm speed, you know, just keep a steady pace back and forth and never hold in the same spot. I was just motioning there so you pay attention to where I have the uh, left hand on top and front of the tool. Now we're going to get rid of the compound and residue with Angel Wax Strippies. Clean the slate for the next step. Moving on to Regenerate, which is a medium cut compound cream. Application for me is going to be the same way as the first step. The yellow pad is the medium cut pad or polishing pad. Speed again locked in at the first setting, which for this tool is 1700. Downforce pressure onto the tool is light. For this step, there's going to be a different hand position gripping the tool, and you're going to see. Most of the grip is on the side of the tool with only the thumb on top. So that means only the thumb is going to be applying down pressure. That's for a reason because we want very light down pressure. And that's a good way to do it. Arm speed is going to be slow and steady.
At this point, you should be seeing clarity and a nice shine on the clear coat. And one thing I'd like to add that's important, the left and right hand do not have a death grip on the tool. Um, they're merely guiding it. They're guiding the tool back and forth with only the thumb applying pressure. I have the trigger locked, so there's no squeezing there. We're just guiding the tool. Let's clean the slate again for the final step. Angel Wax Strippies. Time for some redemption, an ultra fine finishing polish. And I'm going to be applying this a little bit different than the first two steps. I don't want to be rubbing and marring. We just want to gently dab some of the product around the panel that we're working on. The finishing pad is going to be blue in color for me in this case. Speed, lowest setting that your tool allows. We're going to spread the product, and then I'm going to show you where to position the hand in this step, and you'll see right here, it is a cradle. We're going to cradle the tool. We're going to lift some weight off of it, and pressure is going to be extremely light onto the panel. Select your speed, lock in the trigger, cradle the tool, and arm speed's going to be slow, extremely slow back and forth. And this is practically jeweling the paint. One thing I don't want to forget, uh, when you get to contours and curves of uh, the panel you're working on, especially with this tool, uh, don't fight it. Let the tool navigate itself through the contour, just merely guide it. Because you don't want to forget, it's usually the peaks of these contours that have the least amount of product, the least amount of paint and clear, if that makes sense. Angel Wax allows for um, quite a long working time, and I know when it's about to flash, so before it does, I want to get some nice, slow, good passes. This step here you can do until you acquire the finish you're looking for. Hope that helped, guys. Alright, so that took care of the category of wool pads. If you have any questions um, about any of that that we just covered, um, don't hesitate. Uh, I'll get back to you. If I need to, I'll, I'll shoot a follow-up video for that. Um, and then the next series will be with the foam pads. Brian from Apex Detail. Catch you next time.